What have you been doing that may be preventing your brain from operating normally? Books, blogs, websites, and TV shows abound with advice on how to live, breathe, exercise, and eat well. Your body is in good health, but what about your brain? I'm not suggesting these healthy lifestyle experts aren't correct, but with all of our concentration focused on our bodies, we may not overlook the health and fitness of our minds. Every day, many of us fall into poor behaviors that are terrible for our brains. I recognize those unhealthy habits that can or may cause harm to the brain if we do not act soon. So before I begin to mention those habits, remember to subscribe to Fourth and give this video a thumbs up. Now, what are those habits? Number one, skipping breakfast. To function normally, our brains need the right nutrition at the right time. Because of our fast-paced lifestyles, most of us avoid or skip breakfast to save time in the morning. As a result, the brain receives insufficient sugar and nutrients. To function properly, the brain needs only pure glucose. Poor nutrition can have long-term negative impact on the brain such as cell deterioration. Number two, overeating. Too much of anything is bad. As the saying goes, the same is true for our brains. If the brain is not functioning normally, we tend to overeat, and overeating leads to brain damage. Overeating causes cholesterol, plaque, deposition, and thickening of blood arteries in the brain, resulting in decreased blood flow to brain cells. This can seriously impair the brain's regular functioning. Overeating has been linked to Alzheimer's disease. Obesity is caused by overeating, which undermines our self-image and self-confidence and can lead to depression and other psychological disorders. Number three, sleep deprivation. Science has not yet determined how much sleep your brain needs, but honestly, do you need science to figure this out? Who hasn't experienced the feeling of a lousy night's sleep? A lack of focus, a sluggish attention span, and a mood that is not at its best are just a few examples. Furthermore, chronic sleep deprivation impairs memory and has long-term repercussions on the brain. This is because systems are hard at work throughout your sleep, ridding you of poisonous byproducts that accumulate in your brain throughout the day. Due to a lack of sleep, these mechanisms are unable to function properly and hence fail to cleanse your brain of hazardous components. If these toxins are not cleared, they begin to collect in your brain, causing serious damage. Number four, eating sugary foods. We all ingest sugar, whether deliberately or unknowingly, in the majority of our food and beverages. High consumption of refined sugars is known to impair the brain's and body's ability to absorb proteins and nutrients. Malnourishment and brain disease such as poor memory, learning issues, hyperactivity, and depression can result from insufficient nutrition. So the next time you add a big Coke to your Happy Meal, reconsider because it contains approximately 20 teaspoons of sugar. Number five, smoking. This is undoubtedly one of the most dangerous habits we have, as smoking not only causes lung or heart illness, but also causes shrinkage of numerous cells in the brain, which can lead to dementia, Alzheimer's, and even death. Excessive smoking causes neuroinflammation, which can lead to multiple sclerosis, an autoimmune condition. Number six, covering the head while sleeping. Sleeping with the head covered causes a rise in carbon dioxide concentration and a decrease in oxygen concentration in the blood. When there is a lack of oxygen, the brain's ability to operate decreases. You may experience suffocation and sleep deprivation, resulting in weariness and lethargy. Number seven, working when sick. When you are overworked, we frequently become ill. If we continue to work when sick, the brain's efficacy is sure to suffer dramatically. This will just exacerbate the situation. When we are sick, our brain and body are already working overtime to combat the infection. Working on a sick day can only make matters worse. So take a rest, relax, and recover. Number eight, loneliness. Being lonely does not always imply a lack of friends. Even persons with a large number of friends can feel lonely at times. Quality is important in this case, as it is in many others. Having said that, being alone can generate a sense of loneliness, which leads to stress and inflammatory processes in the brain. Those with the fewest social contacts showed the most significant cognitive decline. Number nine, no exercise. All work and no play makes Jack a dull lad, as the saying goes. Exercise promotes flexibility and mobility. Without enough exercise, mobility and cognitive power to move decline, as does stability and motor abilities. Exercising has been demonstrated in studies to help us stay youthful by generating joyful hormones known as endorphins. Exercise not only enhances the brain, but also strengthens the heart and lungs. Do you need another excuse to work out? 
Number 10. Consuming Alcohol The higher the percentage of alcohol consumed, the more brain cells die. When used in high quantities and overextended periods, alcohol causes chemical abnormalities. Chronic alcohol consumption reduces brain volume. Excess alcohol is defined as more than two units per day for men and one unit per day for women. Number 11. Exposure to Contaminated Chemicals Pollution Our brain is completely oxygen-dependent. The more toxic substances you are exposed to, as well as filthy and contaminated air, the less oxygen enters your brain. A lack of oxygen in the body may result in the death of brain cells. Long-term studies in mice exposed to polluted air demonstrated physical brain damage. It's time to go to the park every day and get some fresh air. Number 12. Premature Stress Everyone experiences stress throughout their lives. A certain degree of stress from work or family is unavoidable in life. The tension of finishing work on time or winning a competition is a positive form of stress. When stress exceeds your ability to cope, it impairs brain function and causes you to feel gloomy, depressed, angry, irritable, and sleepless. If you experience one or more of these feelings regularly, it is important to seek counseling or remove yourself from stressful situations. Number 13. Lack of Stimulating Thoughts According to studies, persons who do not think much or often enough have shrinking brains. Thus, thinking is essential for brain maintenance and expansion. Thinking, reading, and writing will train and improve the brain's functioning and protect it from injury. Number 14. Bad Hearing Your fragile ears are the ones who suffer the most from our noisy modern environment. How peaceful it must have been for ancient years to be exposed to nothing except the chirping of birds and the ringing of church bells. Today's ears have a lot more to deal with. Constant noise exposure, subways roaring, cars honking, music in the supermarket, in your headphones, construction sites everywhere. The noise level is insanely high. It's also driving your ears insane. New research shows that hearing problems are on the rise. Hearing challenged people are 30 to 40% more likely to suffer from cognitive decline. So it's a good idea to protect your ears as much as possible. For example, audiologists offer custom fit earplugs that protect you from extreme noise levels. Number 15. Too much salt. After all these years of sugar bashing, you can now add salt to the roster of nutritional baddies. One factor that contributes to elevated blood pressure is exposure to salt. Indeed, studies have shown that a high salt diet increases the risk of high blood pressure, which can lead to modest cognitive deficiencies and an increased risk of stroke. An increased risk of stroke can result in severe brain damage. And that concludes this video. Which of these habits do you think can be avoided easily? You can drop your comment as always. Make sure you subscribe to Fourth, like and share this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the video coming up next.